The stuffed Ascolian olives that are handmade are part of the rich culinary tradition that are part of the city of Ascoli Piceno. We can affirm that in their distinctiveness, they represent the true jewel of the Ascolian kitchen and are known as the gold of Ascoli. With the introduction of the large-scale distribution, today's demand for stuffed Ascolian olives has increased. Because of all the requests, the industrialization of the process was a disadvantage to the ancient tradition, causing it to slowly disappear. During the period of preparation for the stuffed Ascolian olives, the whole family would reunite, from grandmothers, aunts, mothers, and children to the youngest. Everyone had their distinct roles. While the Vergara, the boss of the house, cut the meat and prepared the mixture, that is, the filling, while the others depitted the olives in the form of a spiral. In turn, the pitted olives are stuffed with the filling. Then they were rolled in flour, beaded eggs, and lastly in breadcrumbs. Then they are immediately fried either in peanut oil or olive oil. For preparing one kilogram of stuffed Ascolian olives, that is, for a dose of roughly 120 kernels, we will pick green pickled olives, tenere ascolana, because this quality is the best to use in this process. Let's take 300 grams of lean beef, 300 grams of lean pork, 300 grams of chicken, preferably the breast, 100 grams of mortadella, for this recipe, we've decided to add mortadella to give it more flavor. 150 grams of shaved parmigiano, 10 hen's eggs, which two will be for the filling and eight for the breading, one lemon with a third of grated peel, a pinch of nutmeg, 800 grams of breadcrumbs, 500 grams of flour, one cup of white wine, one medium onion, one carrot, one stalk of celery, 150 grams of olive oil, two liters of either peanut oil, sunflower oil, lard, or olive oil for frying. Especially during the most important holidays such as Christmas, Easter, the Feast of the Patron Saint Emilio, still observed by the Ascolian citizens, but also for birthdays and family anniversaries, the stuffed olives could never be missed on the tables of the Ascolians. They were considered as the queen of the meal. Just as the Vergara, that is the boss of the house, would prepare the flavors of the stuffed olives, we also begin sauteing in a saucepan olive oil, onions, carrots, and celery. After having thoroughly sauteed the ingredients, add the three types of fresh meat in equal parts. The beef, pork, and chicken breast cut into small pieces. Once the salt and pepper have been added to taste, let everything cook for more than a half hour. Then add pieces of mortadella, thickly cut, and continue cooking, adding some white wine. If the meat while cooking begins to dry out, add chicken broth in moderation. The cooking is done after roughly an hour and 15 minutes. Then, let the meat mixture cool down. Afterwards, the mixture will be passed through the mincer to ground the meat enough so that it mixes well with the juices. Get two whole eggs 
crack in the mixture and then add 150 grams of shaved Parmigiano Reggiano. Then add a pinch of nutmeg and a third of shaved lemon peel. Taste to be sure that the mixture has enough salt and then let rest for some time. When the pickled olives have been soaked for 12 hours in sweet water and depitted, carefully cut out the pit without puncturing the meat of the olive. Proceed filling the olives with the prepared mixture, giving an olive form to the new kernel. After having stuffed the olive, roll carefully in the flour, then in the well-beaded egg in which a pinch of salt is added, and lastly in the breadcrumbs. The Virgata with her hands would carefully rub the stuffed olives one at a time in the breadcrumbs and then place them on a baking tin ready to be fried. When the oil is hot, begin to fry the olives one at a time until they move while making a circular movement with the pan. When they are golden all around, drain with a ladle and place on a paper towel until the oil is completely absorbed. At this point, the fried stuffed olives are ready to be served hot with slices of lemon. Even cold, the fried stuffed Ascolian olives don't lose their exquisite flavor. And now enjoy the stuffed Ascolian olives and hope to see you for the next recipe.